Okay, so here's the next problem. You want to build a rectangular fence. X, Y. It's a rectangle. Mm -hmm. And let's say you have you have 40 feet of fence. Find the max. Find the maximum area. What do you think you would do here? Well, without calculus, I would say that the maximum area that a rectangle can have it with respect to its side length is in the form of a square. Okay. So then I put the side lengths at square root of 40, or 2 root of 10. If x, x and y both equal 2 root, no. If x and y both equal 10, we have 40 feet of fence because you have to enclose the max area. Uh huh. So x and y have to both equal 10. Okay. And then you enclose 100. Alright. So what do you, how do you think we're going to do this with calculus? Well, I guess this would be akin to finding the maximum of something. Okay. I guess it's the maximum of x times y, and then where 2x plus 2y is 40. Yeah. 2x plus 2y equals 40, or x plus y is 20. And we want to find the max of x times y. So what do you think you're going to do? Well, maximum is also going to be where the derivative is zero. Okay. So we can find the derivative of this. Yeah, we'd love to find the derivative of this expression x times y, but what's the problem? We don't have an x times y in our equation. Which equation? In any of these these two equations. Okay. Well, here we're trying we're we're trying to find the maximum of this expression here. Mm -hmm. So we want to take the derivative of this expression, which seems easy enough to do, but there is still a problem. Well, we don't normally take derivatives of y's. Right. So how can I get rid of that? You can just divide by y, and then multiply by y at the end. Uh, no. No. I guess you can substitute in um, 20 minus x for y. Okay, so the area that we're trying to find the derivative of is x times 20 minus x. So the trouble with this equation is that it has two variables, and we don't know how to take the derivative of two variables. We know how to take the derivative of only one right now. In fact, the title of your book might actually be single variable calculus. Hmm. It, it might not be, I don't know, but, but we only know how to do derivatives of one variable, so we need to get equations into one variable, which luckily we have the second equation. Now what sort of shape is x times 20 minus x going to be? It's a parabola. It's a parabola. Okay, so we're trying to find dA dx, and there's a couple different ways you could do this, but you can tell me what it is. dA dx is? Um, we can do the product rule, I suppose. Okay. Where it's, so it's going to be um, 20 minus x times 1 huh? plus x times 1, times minus 1. Alright, and that simplifies to be what? It's 20 minus 2x. 20 minus 2x. You could have also multiplied out and you would have had 20x minus x squared, and you can see mm -hmm. that 20 minus 2x. So the, the uh, derivative is 0. A prime equals zero implies x equals ten. Ten. Now, this is a parabola of twenty x minus x squared, which is that opening up or down? Um, it's opening down. Down. So we know this is a maximum. So that means your intuition was right. But now I'm going to switch it to a problem and ask you to solve it, where your intuition might not be right. All right.